Hey guys, welcome to EV Light Gaming. Uh, as you can see in front of you, today we have, and probably from the title, we have a uh, Etherbolt bundle, uh, not fat pack, and then we've got two extra Etherbolt packs, and just for fun, two Return to Ravnica packs. Uh, that set will will always have a soft spot in my heart. Uh, it's where I it's where I came in, so um, look forward to you know having a little bit of um, nostalgia going forwards. Um, also, this is the second uh, bundle that we've opened. So first of all, if you've missed the first one, I definitely go uh, suggest going back and watching it. Although you know I don't want to waste your time. It wasn't wasn't particularly great um, but you know if you just really want to you know see another one you haven't seen it then I definitely suggest going and check it out but um, it, like if you want to see the the booklet and kind of all the extras that come in here uh, that would be that would be the place to go because I you know kind of show it off a little bit slower uh, as far as the dice goes looks like we have another green uh, ether revolt dice uh, and then we've got these are four packs so we'll kind of keep them a little bit separate so that way we can see you know what we get in the <clears throat> the fat pack versus you know just the random packs uh, as you can see we've got 10 and i talked about it in the first video but i wasn't completely sure if uh it was correct that it didn't come with the little cellophane stuff on top, the extra wrapping, and uh, it was correct. Uh, as you can see here on the second bu uh, bundle, no wrapping around it, uh, as well as I watched a few other videos, and uh, they also had the same. So uh, before we get into the Etherbolt stuff, let's just go ahead and check out check out what we've got here. Uh, let's see, we'll put it over here. Uh, couldn't already guess I don't have the highest quality uh, camera equipment so I try and keep the stuff from going in and out of focus too often uh, so to nostalgia town we've got giant growth traitorous instinct root born defenses coursers accord Azorius arrester explosive impact mind rot axbane guardian Keening Apparition, Arc Weaver, Rogue's Passage, Risen Sanctuary, and Gerard's Orders. And it looks like we have a, a third card in the back, so I think we may have a foil here. Oh yeah, I forgot that they were the foils were uh, a little bit different than they are now. You now the foils are after uh, after the rare, whereas they used to be at the very end of the pack. Uh, and me reading the individual cards will, uh, well, I'll, I'll show you, maybe not read them all, uh, but I'll show every single card uh, in this video. I think it'll just be a little bit easier moving forwards. Uh, so in the booster box coming up, and then we should have one more fat pack, or bundle, whatever you want to call it. Um, those I will just skip right through to the uncommons and rares. Streets Rather and Rakdos, Lord of Riots. So of the two, we ended up getting a, uh, a mythic. That's pretty sweet. Rakdos himself. Pretty cool. So a mythic and a foil. I would call that uh, pretty nostalgic. I never was a big Rakdos fan when playing Ra uh, Return of Ravnica, just because I I was a huge fan of the uh, Sphinx's Revelation. I was a blue mage all the way. But um, anyways, so it's cool to get that. Uh, as far as Kaladesh goes, these top two packs were the, the separate ones. So we'll see kind of what we get here. Chandra's Revolution. Uh, I talked about a little bit last time the... The story is just incredible for this one. Uh, each one of these cards is, is just great. Aeronaut Admiral, the Airdrop Aeronauts, and Rishkar's Expertise. <clears throat> I think the, uh, the actual Rishkar himself, the, the green 
legendary creature is getting some serious uh, consideration and standard right now. Uh, as we speak, the SCG uh, tournament's going on, and I know Rishkar was being played in several lists. Foundry Assembler, Ornithopter, Great Reprint, Foundry Hornet, Pacification Array, and I gave away the rare, which, well, apparently you just don't get to see. It's Whir of Invention. Whir of Invention? I feel like Stewie, kind of emphasizing the H. Whir of Invention. So that was our uh, packs separate from the, the bundle. Um, yeah, I guess I'll go ahead and tell you, we didn't get anything great in the original, in the first bundle, uh, no mythics, we got several foils, um, but it'll be interesting to see if, if we once again get no mythics, I'd be curious if, uh, it has anything to do with the fact that this is a smaller set, car work assembler, ironclad revolutionary, efficient construction, and green belt. Rampager. Um, I think the set has about 80 less cards. I think it's like two, maybe it's a little more than, I think it's like 260 and this one's 140. So this is about a third the size. We won't spend too much time going through these, uh, but about the third the size. So, I mean, it should scale down as far as rares and mythics. I think there's 12 mythics in this set versus the uh, 16, I think, that are in uh, so Glint Sleeve Siphoner versus the 16 that are in Kaladesh. But it seems like we should pull one from a bundle. Um, absolutely not guaranteed. Wizards makes no, no guarantees as far as that goes, but seems fairly rare, at least for my luck so far, to, um, Deft Dismissal, Consulates of Dreadnought, Earthless Wraith, and Merchant's Dock Hand. So not, not great so far, but it uh, seems pretty, pretty rare to go through, I guess it would be 20 packs through these Aether Revolt bundles and not get a single Mythic. I wouldn't, yeah, I'd say you know, pretty rare. Not unheard of, though. Um, we'll say at least opening weekend. There's some some big some big hits in the set, but it also seems like there's been not just a ton of um, of new playables. You've got some of the mythics like Heart of Kieran and and um, I talked a little bit about Rishkar, but it seems like a lot of the stuff is left over from Kaladesh or uh, Eldritch Moon as far as what's kind of being played right now. It's still early and people are trying to feel out, you know, what's good, what's not. But it's a little surprising that there's not more. Another Rishkar's Expertise and then a Daredevil Dragster. Well, we are rich in the, in the Expertise. Um... If you go back and watch our our first box or first uh, bundle, we got several expertises there. Take into custody. We'll say there's a um. I've played a, a decent amount of of draft with this sealed play, and um, I really like black in sealed. It's done really well. Sweet. I think we actually also have a foil here. So we do have a mythic, uh, Herald of Anguish. It's actually one of my favorites in the set as far as mythics. I think it's incredibly underrated. Um, it's pretty sweet. <laughs> okay. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. And we got a O-Stone. That makes... Now, yes, I've, we've bought several uh, bundles, fat packs, whatever you want to call them. And so there have been some bad pulls, like I said, in that first one. But I think this makes up for it. Um, awesome. 
very cool. So actually two mythics in this one. Uh, one of them I would say is a little bit better than the other. I'll put that over there. So excellent. Uh, and I guess what I was trying to get to earlier is that uh, we bought several bundles and that's our, actually our second invention to pull just out of out of the bundles. Um, won't tell you which one we pulled, but in the Kaladesh booster box, we actually also pulled another invention. So that was pretty sweet. Now, definitely, if you're if you're interested in you know seeing that, I would definitely suggest going to check it out. We were pretty surprised, and I will say it's one of the better inventions that you could have pulled. Um, so if you enjoy that stuff, Life Crafters Bestiary. So yeah, it seems like everything after this point is just, just gravy. I don't know how much Oblivion Stone is right now, uh, but I know that all of the inventions will, will tank sharply. Several of them have already, um, but they should tank very sharply as uh, more packs are, are opened up. Airdrop Aeronauts and Call for Unity. We do have another foil. What are the chances? Ah, oh, boo. A wrangle. <laughs> oh, why would I boo this pack? I think. I think most people would take really just any invention. I mean, even if you want to go for, you know, Champion's Helm or some of the the lower end inventions, I think when you spend, I actually ended up spending about 35 after tax on this one, which I won't say where it is because I don't want to give it away, but I think that they may not have increased the price uh, since it is a, a bundle now rather than a fat pack and it comes with that extra pack. I think they forgot to increase the price. Um, could be wrong, but I think it's should be about an extra four dollars. So, uh, thirty-five for for a uh, Oblivion Stone. It's pretty sweet. This is our last pack, as you can see. Um, I'm not going to worry about doing a, a recap on this video. Um, pretty it should be pretty short, and hopefully, all y'all kind of stuck in there for it. So our final one is a Yahini. Once again, a good way to close it out because he's just super sweet in the story. Um, hoping he'll he'll come in towards the end again. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you're skipping to the end, make sure you go back and check out when this bad boy was pulled. Uh, not bad. Overall, uh, I guess totally three mythics if you include the Return to Ravnica. Um, but pretty sweet video. Hope you guys enjoyed and, uh, leave a comment if you enjoyed it. If you didn't, let me know what I could do to improve, uh, and keep an eye out for the upcoming, uh, another bundle and a actual box. So we'll see y'all then.